Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.36 from Sadiku book. So the question is use mesh analysis or loop analysis to obtain I1, I2, and I3. So this is I1, I2, and I3. And we are asked to use mesh analysis. So let's draw the loop first. Okay, maybe let's use this loop here and then this loop here. Let's name this loop different than this branch current. So I will name this IA. And I will name this IB. Right? Okay, now let's do KVL at the loop IA and KVL at the loop AB. Let's do exactly that. So we need to use KVL at loop IA. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this 12 volt voltage source and the current is flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal. So our sign will be negative and then the voltage magnitude is 12. So I will have mi minus 12 and then plus I have 4 ohm here. So we will have 4 and the only current that pass through it is IA. Remember that resistance multiplied by the current is the voltage because of Ohm's law. Okay, now let's move on to that 6. So I will have 6 here. And remember we need voltage, so we multiply it by the current. But there are two currents that flows through it, IA and IB. So IA is goes first because currently we are working with IA. And then... IB is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus IB. Okay, good. All of that is equal to zero. Now, let's move this 12 to the right-hand side, and I will work with this one first. So, I will have 4IA, and then plus 6IA, and then minus 6IB, and all of that will equal to 12 right and then 4 plus 6 is 10 so we will have 10 ia minus 6 ib is equal to 12 okay maybe let's save this as equation number one good and now let's move on to the second one which is the loop ib so now let's do another kvl but this time at loop IB. KVL at loop IB. And remember, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from this voltage source. And the current is flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal. So I will have positive, so 10. And then let's move on to the other component, 2 ohm here. So I will have 2. But to get the voltage, we multiply by the only current that pass through it, which is IB. So I will have 2IB. Okay, and then for the last component, I will have 6 here. And we are working at loop IB, so IB goes first. But then IA is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus IA. Good. And all of that will equal to zero. Okay, now let's do some arithmetic here. Uh, let's move 10 to the right-hand side letter. And I will have 2IB. And then plus, let's distribute this 6 here. So I will have 6IB. And then 6 multiplied by IA, I will have minus 6IA. And all of that will equal to minus 10. So 2 plus 8, 2 plus 6 is 8. And for IA, I still have that one. So minus 6 IA. And then plus 8 IB. And that will equal to minus 10. Okay, now we have equation number we have two equations with two variables. 
we should be able to solve this right okay so now let's do solve the equation solve one and two and i think the easiest way to do it is just using calculator okay let's set our calculator first as equation solver so we will have number five here and then two variables is number one and then i will have the first equation which is 10 and then minus 6 and then 12 okay so the coefficient this one this one and that one and then for the second equation i will have minus 6 and then 8 and then minus 10 good so i will have the value of ia ia is 0 0.81818 and the unit is ampere because i have volt and ohm and for ib what is ib ib is the y value so i will have this one so i will have minus 0 0.6363 I think 4 that will be good but the question is not asking about IA and IB but for I1, I2 and I3 so let's solve for I1, I2 and I3 for I1, I1 is just the opposite of IA so I will have I1 is equal to minus IA. So that will be minus 0 0.81818 ampere. And then what is I2? I2 is IA minus IB. So I will have IA minus IB. And I think I just want to leave it with my calculator. So let's set this up. So I'll have 0 0.81818 and then minus, minus 0 0.636364. Yeah, I think that's good. So I will have 1.4545. Okay, one point four five four five four five and I think the unit is ampere and then for I3 that is exactly the same as I B which is minus zero point six three six three six four and the unit is ampere and this is the final answer of this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.